Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to a very new Let's Play of Bewitchment. This is, oh wow, straight off the bat. Straight up, you just had to ruin my intro, didn't you, mate? Get, go away. Yes, okay, so it is very nice to have you joining me today. This is a magic-based mod for uh, for Minecraft and... Um, I will be playing it in 1.16.5, 1.16.5, 1 uh, 1 however you want to say it. Its latest version is for 1.18 uh, Minecraft, but I think I'm going to stick to 1.16.5 uh, for other mod compatibility purposes. This is not a mod pack per se, like a capital M mod pack, but I am running some other mods as well, including Campanion. And uh, Better Animals Plus, which is where these beautiful little moths come from. Or butterflies. They are butterflies, in fact. Uh, I do need the string, so let's let's dance. Oh, dear. I actually don't want to kill the butterflies, but anyway. The first thing we're going to do straight off the bat is tame a raven. And I know that seems like a very strange place to start, but if you know... Uh, if you've been watching my sort of preparatory episodes for this, you would know that we keep running into ravens and I I just need it. I need it. I need them. Uh, actually, what's rarer? Oh, they're both about the same. You know what? Let's just cope with that. We're just gonna we're just gonna do it. So to tame a raven, you need a silver nugget or a gold nugget. Look at these butterflies. Ah! Oh! And then you take your fine self, if you can stop staring at the butterflies, um, to the raven in question. And this is where I've been seeing them, in the sort of plains biome type area. Um, so, any minute now, we will run into a... A fine feathered fellow. They make a sort of flapping noise as uh, as creatures of the avian persuasion are wont to do. I can hear bats. That's a good sign. Um. Aha! Hello, sir. Ooh. Okay. If I give you money if I give you the monies <gasps> best friends forever yes I, I want to be best friends forever yes yes I do I do I do I do I do allegedly if you uh, use a bowline on a raven you can actually harvest their feathers without harming them which seems useful prior to this my modded uh, Minecraft version of choice has actually been 1.7.10, embarrassingly enough. And the reason for that is uh, basically it supports witchery, which is my favorite Minecraft mod. Who knows, maybe Bewitchment will overtake that now. But um, I love uh, I love magic, I love the occult, I love fantasy, uh, etc, etc. So, um, yeah, anyway, Witchery was my favourite mod. And 1.7.10 was the version that did that for me. So, I have been living in that land for a very, very long time. So, you will find <laughs> that many uh, aspects of vanilla Minecraft that I'm sure you guys are all really, really familiar with, I am actually not familiar with whatsoever. Um, so that'll be exciting. <laughs> that'll be very exciting. All right. Oh, you are just adorable. You are just adorable and I love you. Okay. All right. Let's make the book. I think that's how, where we have to start with Bewitchment. So, uh, the dust book. Huh, interesting. Uh, okay, so we need a mandrake root and a book. I think we can swing that. No, we can't because <laughs> I don't have any leather. Uh, let's see if we can procure us 
A wee bit of... No, 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 no. Okay, fine. You've been volunteered as tribute. And no leather. That's typical. That's absolutely typical. Here's our lovely... Oh, look at these butterflies. They make me so happy. Okay, here's our beautiful witch, witch top. Witch top roof garden. Uh, at which we will collect mandrakes. Now, I live in witchery land. And in witchery land, mandrakes will absolutely mess you up if you're not careful, as in if you're not wearing earmuffs. Now, that doesn't... Oh, I don't want wheat up here, actually. That doesn't seem to be the case in Bewitchment. Maybe I've just been lucky, but I have not had any problems with uh, mandrakes at all so far. So, yes, this does need a little bit of tidying up, but... Uh, you can't win them all. So yes. And I have too much garlic. Oh, and I realised you can actually make garlic bread. So, you know what? It's got to happen. It's just got to happen. We're going to make some garlic bread. Whoop, don't just eat raw garlic, you absolute weirdo. Right, let's make some garlic bread. And a book. As one does. Garlic bread in a book. That's all you need in life. No, we need that. For paper. Only idiots believe what they read in the paper. No! <laughs> I went through all of my prep episodes not looking at the recipe book. Not that, I, not that I'm bragging. Not that I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm the superior Minecraft player. Because I didn't look at the recipe book. Like, that's not what I'm trying to say. But I'm just saying that I, as a general rule, I won't be using the, re the, blah, 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 the recipe book. Here we go. Here is the Book of Shadows done. Oh, look at this. Okay. <laughs> We're in business. We're in witchy business, folks. I actually hate the word witchy. I'll be honest with you. I think it's really naff, but <laughs> anyway, just my opinion. A witchy codex. This book shall guide you through the art. Interesting. Um. All right. So crops. Four regular crops. Perfect. So we've got aconite, belladonna, garlic, and mandrake root. We've already started growing these. Thank goodness. So aconite. Aconite. By the way, aconite is another name for wolfsbane. Just in case you were wondering. As uh, much as using neurotoxin, whereas belladonna is for harm. Garlic embodies healing. And Mandrake enhances magic. Interesting. All these except garlic are hallucinogens in real life. Grilled garlic. Delicious. Let's make some garlic bread. Here we go. Bread. Garlic. Bob's your uncle. Bob is not my uncle. My uncle's name is Phil. Alright. So we've got the Book of Shadows. We've got our crops. We have cypress trees. Uh, blocks made from as much as the undead in a small area. Elder trees. This noble tree spawns in forest by knowledge and intelligence. Blocks made with this wood can be locked using... Blocks made with this wood can be locked using a silver ingot. I'm not too interested in this just yet. Juniper trees. The juniper tree represents life. Three tag locks. Da da da. Okay, so it has a lot to do with tag locks. We're going to get into that later. Uh, salt. We've got quite a lot of salt already. Silver. We've got some silver as well. Perfect. It looks like we've got all the sort of basics. Entry index. Werewolf. <gasps> oh, that's for later. That's for later. We're not looking at that at the moment. Okay. Um. Can oh. Oh. Oh my goodness. Um. Tools. 
All right. Okay. Yep. Let's do. No. Let's start with the cauldron. We're gonna start with the cauldron. Spruce bark, birch bark, juniper bark. Okay. So you need some bark, a cauldron, and some silver ingots. What's our silver situation look like? Oh my goodness. I've been outside reading this book all day. Can you imagine that? Like you're just looking at this person, just standing in their front yard, just reading a book, standing up. Uh, what was I doing? A cauldron. <laughs> Silver situation is good. Okay, cool. Uh, so. Let's make a Minecraft cauldron first. I believe that's the way to go. Uh, we'll take the silver out while we're at it. Minecraft cauldron. Go. And then we need some bark, don't we? Okay. So... How does that work? Bark. Uh, okay, so it's probably with the trees, right? Surely. You gonna tell me how to make bark? I, you know, I'm... I suspect... I suspect we need an Arthana... I suspect we need Nathana to be able to harvest bark. So, here we go. We need some flint. Where is the flint? Here we go. We've unlocked some new chapters. That's bark. Here we go. Ooh. Okay, oak bark. <sighs> Strip bark from wood using an... Uh, I'm I'm gonna have an educated guess. I'm gonna say Atame or Athame. I have this weird intuition that the H is silent. So Atame or something like that. Atame. I, okay, you know what? I'll need to look it up between episodes before I embarrass myself. I think it has to be vanilla trees. So we're gonna head over here to the swamp. Let's see if we can just get some good old-fashioned oak bark. All right. Oh, oh, goodness gracious me. That's unfortunate. Is that going to stay like that? Am I just... <laughs> that kind of sucks. I kind of hate that. Is that... Am I just... Is that tree just going to stay naked? Because, um... I hate that. <laughs> I really hate that. I hope it doesn't. So we've got our bark. Now I believe... Is it that? Or is it that? Here we go. Aha. All right. Now then, new chapters unlocked. Perfect. No, we'll hold on. We're not done with the. Uh, no, let's. No, 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 no. Oh my goodness, so much to do. All right. Uh, silver canaries, all crafting. Hot blocks. Hold on. Place hot blocks such as lava or magma blocks below it. Do I need to visit the nether before I can use a witch's cauldron? Because that is a little bit bizarre. I think we might need to make an altar first. Where, where did I see it? Here we go, altars. They can be used to collect energy. All right. Swords, pentacles, wands. Swords will increase the storage multiplier. Pentacles such as skulls and gems increase the gain. Wands such as... Da -da -da -da. Wands? Wands such as candelabras. Okay. A player's internal buffer, which is used for magic such as trinkets or brooms. Okay, here we go. Here's the recipe. 
So we need smooth stone, silver, and bark. Oh, that's no worries at all. And we'll need some more bark. Oh, that makes me so sad because I'm going to make the trees ugly. Let's make trees ugly. Let's do it. Oh, go away. Yeah, I knew you wanted to get involved, mate. Not today. We're going this way. Okay. Uh, hello? Can I have my bark? Or am I just going to irrevocably make trees ugly? I'm not okay with that. Is that a dragonfly? Because that is stunning. That's incredible. Oh, I don't... I don't... I don't want to mess all this up. How come I only have three... Am I... I only have three oak bark. Is this... Am I just... Oh, there we go. So the chance is very low. That gives us nine. I think that'll do for now, actually. Um. Okay, let's just do a bit of jiggery-pokery. Mossy cobblestone. That's cute but involved. Okay, so we need bark, stone, silver. Done. Bark, stone, silver. Um, actually, let's do that because I'm, what? Totally lazy. We're gonna need, I don't know how many. You know what, let's just, let's just, let's just, let's just muck around. Two! Four. We need six, so that's nifty. Uh, oh my goodness. Perfect. Perfect. But that's us for silver for now, which is a bit of a shame. Alright, so now we have the altar. Um, I think we'll need to put a little bit of carpet on it. I know there's like nice carpet here and that's that makes me happy. Oh no. No. No no. Um let's have a brown one. Brown dye. How do you make the cocoa beans of course. Red carpet. Now my plan was to sort of put the altar here. So, and I don't think it's going to do anything until we put carpet on the top, which is a little bit of a shame. But, that's a start. Uh, what? What is this? No, thank you. No, thank you. We're fine here, thank you. We don't want any of whatever you're offering. No, 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 don't. No, don't come towards the house. No. Mm -mm. Hey. Hey, lady. All right, well, let's get us some wool, shall we? Now that we've got a booming sheep population, that will be grand. Ooh. Ooh, there's a couple of guests today, I suppose. Oh, no. No, that is very unwanted. No, thank you. Nope, nope. You're going to make me ruin my farm, and I'm going to be angry, and I really need to get a fence. I really need to get a fence. All right. Breathe these guys up again while I'm here. I need the ooh no bad um and I'll breed these guys while I'm at it and I see you skeleton man and I'm not having it I shan't have it oh maybe I shall 
Maybe I shall have it. No, no, no. Just let me, let me, let me farm. Let me be self-sufficient. No. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm just, just making it up. Oh, that's nowhere near enough. Oh, it's all a big mess. Let's try that again. No, I don't think I'm going to need 15. But you know what? I guess. Alright. Let's... Let's get... Oh, beautiful. Lovely! Two out of 105. Okay, interesting. So it's total... Now, the way I understand that is that its total capacity is going to be 105. But it does take time to, like, charge up and recharge and that sort of thing. So we're going to have to be very clever about farming and whatnot. So you know what? I might move some witch crops down here and see how that works out for us. Anyway, there's the altar. So let's start getting some stuff on it. All right, so let's get some plants going around this thing. Um, apparently a torch will also do stuff. I don't know. Uh, straight off the bat, we can actually put another. Can we afford it? Yes, we can, but only just. Uh, another Arthana on the altar. And while I'm at it, I'm just going to put that spare carpet away and I'm going to put the seeds away too. Right. So we'll have one to use and we'll have one uh, to go on the altar and that'll be grand. Okay. Uh, let's have a look at the book. What else can I put on the altar? The candelabra. We can afford that. In fact, we can do a gold one. Um, yeah, we can't do a silver one, unfortunately, but we can do a gold one. Let's do a gold candelabra. That will be lovely. Uh, let's use some of this charcoal. Right. I'm going to need a ton of torches anyway. Come on. Be reasonable. Uh, okay, so... Uh, no, we're going to make a gold one. No! Ugh! What a mess. So we'll need a few nuggets. We'll need that from memory. Is it something like that? Perfect. Okay, so now, just as I've put a ridiculous <laughs> torch on the altar. Uh, can I have that back, please? Can Hello? Oh, I see. Okay, so shift right click. Can I, can I, can I, can I turn this on? Can I? Okay, footsteps. Do I have a flint and steel? I don't think I do. It's a bit silly. Uh, and we'll put that back. Right. Flint and steel, and we'll see if it needs to be lit. Do you need to be lit, sir? Is that... No? Okay. What do you want? How do I... Hello? No! Do you... Uh. Fine. All right. Pentacle. Come on. What? But it's not lit. Why is it glowing? This makes no sense. What a great time for some garlic bread. Oh, actually, no. It's not a great time for some garlic bread. But it is a good time to set up the cauldron somewhere and also plant some stuff and things. 
Time for some garlic bread and the moving of the mandrakes because I just know that we're going to need a bunch of these. I just know it. Game's freaking out on me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see how we go there. So that should be a little bit more. 179. It doesn't seem like a whole lot, I reckon. But, um, yeah, we'll see how we go. What's next? A brown bill's crystal ball druid. Is the crystal ball going to do anything for my altar? I don't know. Witch cauldron. You know what? Let's place the witch cauldron and see what happens, I reckon. So we'll need a block below it. I'm just going to do it like that. So we need... Will normal fire work? I could... Because I could probably make a block of coal. I think I've got enough coal for it. Uh, in lieu of netherrack or other such flammable paraphernalia. Although I am probably due now to visit the nether. Okay, so if I just put my block of coal there. Uh, light her up. And one assumes... Ah, I've already got one. Here's one I prepared earlier. Um, okay, are you gonna... Ooh, fair enough. I suppose. Yes, I can hear that boiling. Alright, brewing. Brewing basics. Uh, you need a boiling witch cauldron, some altar power, other miscellaneous ingredients. Start to brew. First, add a mandrake root to the witch cauldron. Mandrake root, you can add other ingredients. Other, each ingredient will increase the altar power. Need to bottle the brew by 150 and having sufficient... Each ingredient will increase the altar power needed by 150. Will cause the brew to fail immediately. Ingredients can be divided into potion ingredients and modifiers. No matter your altar power, you can, you can, no matter your altar power, you can only add up to four ingredients. Okay, so very interesting. Potion ingredients add effects to your brew. You'll always want to have at least one of those. The exact effects provided by certain potions. Modifiers will enhance your brew. Redstone dust increases the duration. Glowstone dust makes it more potent. So that's a carryover from witchery. That's cool. You may add only one potency enhancing modifier. Well, after you can post process, you can post process your potions using a regular brewing stand. Fascinating. When the water is brown, it usually means you failed your brew. All right. Interesting. Alright, well, you know what? That's all for next time. Ooh, I've lost my coal. <laughs> oh, that is not sustainable at all. Okay, well, you know what? Next time I think we'll be heading into the nether because this is silly. I'm not going to muck around with this. Um, Alright, thank you for joining me, ladies and gentlemen, and I will see you next time for some more Bewitchment here with me, Kit. Cheers!